trees all through here. Welcome all back to the channel. Fish and Freaks here with LFD. The man that created me. I'm the only child, by the way. The only one. That's right. Anyway, my dad has never been on a, a shallow crappie bite, ever. We've caught crappie together, and I'm sure you've crappie fished in the past, but never up on the bank, which is the most fun. It is the most fun. And last time I was out here, caught them in timber and floating, just floaters using live scope, which I know some of you uh, don't live scope fish and, and don't really prefer to watch it. It's, it was a good way to catch some big females. But today, we're gonna try something different. We may have to resort to a little bit of that, but I wanna to try to find these crappie on the bank. All right, folks, here's what I'm going to start out with. This is my favorite bait out of our crappie line for just search fishing. You know, this would be like grabbing the spinner bait or grabbing a, a bass swim bait, grabbing a saucy swimmer. This is the snacky swimmer. And I've got that rigged up on that little eighth ounce jig head and i'm going to be tossing that there's uh there's some timber in here there's also it looks like there's some riprap as we get to the back of this thing and i'm going to be tossing that around the bank just just like you would throwing a search bait for bass and trying to get bumped and with that with that boot tail on there and a little bit bigger plastic it slows it down and that's what i want i want to go pretty slow that's the biggest lesson that i've learned <clears throat> through the years of crappie fishing is just going slow because a lot of times they like it just sitting right in front of their face and if you're if you're going at bass speeds you'll just go right by them and you won't catch them break out the old bass rig dad dad's got he brought two or three bass rods which i knew he would they might have backed out though being a little chillier Shad everywhere back here. <clears throat> this should be where they are spawning. So if we don't get bit back here, go back out to the mouth. We have journeyed all the way in the back of a creek. No bites. Water 60 but nothing doing. So I think we may have to back out this chilly night. I think push some fish back. I got him. That's, uh, that's about a two pounder there. <laughs> Not how I want to catch them, but oh. no begging. Dad had to come up here and throw his spinnerbait around. So yeah, well, I mean, check him out. Yeah, get, Maybe I can hook him like right there. Yeah, there get, we go. Yeah, now it looks like a ten. <laughs> Trophy. <laughs> Trophy hold. Oh my goodness. Well, this bait has uh, caught a lot of big ones, but it'll also catch a little. Yeah. Well, this water's super muddy. 
If it had a little rain, that might be the reason why these crappie are not on the bank. And the bass are, I don't know, I haven't seen anybody catch a bass out here. Of course, they never do. It's the Dead Sea. But I've had a, a few crappies. They're just not the way I want to catch them. They're out there on that deep timber, pre-spawn. And a lot of them, you, you got to tickle their nose. It's not, uh, it's not a very exciting bite. So we'll do what we have to do to get some fish in the well for LFD. But I really think the, the afternoon will be much better for the bank stuff. You know, the water's just now hitting 60. You just don't want to move. Oh, came out after it. Got him that time. Shift it out. Come get it. Oh my God, what a giant. Come on. Got her. That's a big one. That's a real big one. Oh my gosh, giant. Oh, I think I got it. Oh, I saw her sitting there. She was not moving. <laughs> That's a two pound crappie, sir. Oh yeah. God, oh my God. sucked it down. Look at the size of that thing. I could literally sit, uh, saw her just sitting there doing this and just slowly coming to it. She finally thumped it. Oh, look what's down her mouth, too. She's got a shad. Look at that. Oh my gosh, that's bigger than my bait. Yeah. Literally two, exactly two. Yep. Leak good. Let me let me hold just just to say. That one dwarfs the other ones. Well, bam. Long story short, y'all. Me and LFD wrapping up our day. Could not get them up shallow. You know, I didn't want to drag Dad back out there and do the live scope thing. And anyway, we had enough uh, fish to do our fish fry. Today is our family uh, dinner night. We always have dinner on uh, Sundays usually. And today we have the crappie. My mom really loves crappie. We all love crappie, it's delicious. And when I was cleaning crappie the other day, uh, I posted a video on my Instagram about, you know, does live scope affect uh, crappie fishing? You know, because I have 95% females in the box. And, you know, there was a lot of mixed comments on that. I guess it really depends on the fishery. I do feel like the place that I was at today, a very large lake full of timber, I don't really think so because there's so much habitat. Other lakes with less habitat, sure, they, they become a little more vulnerable. But here's the deal. A lot of you said, you need to try the row. Don't throw it away. Because usually I just take the scraps, you know, and I, I throw them away. I usually just throw them, in, throw them in the lake, you know, feed the catfish, whatever. Sometimes I feed the row to my chickens. But my dad said, he's tried the row. He thinks it's good. And I have no idea. This might be a crazy delicacy. So I wanted to share you with you guys my experience of trying row for the first time. So crappies are at dad's. We're fixing to head over there right now uh, and and fillet some of these fish, cook them up for our Sunday dinner, fried golden crispies, baby. You know how we do it, but we are going to have some row as well. So come along. Let's try some crappie row for the first time. We got them crappies ready to go that we're going to fillet the row out. I'm going to try to do it the best I can where it's all in one piece, nice, and we'll batter that, throw it in with the fish as well. So I'm gonna hand this camera off to my lovely wife, OSG. 
because Dad likes to fill in the sky when I hand him the camera. <laughs> 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 Is that right, Dad? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> I'm not the best camera. Man. That's okay. We still love you. But yeah. you have tried roe. Right. I have. And when I was growing up, uh, we used to eat it. Yes. Out of what fish? Mostly catfish. Catfish caviar. Yeah. My gosh, yeah. that is a redneck delicacy. <laughs> <That right there. is. laughs> yeah, it was good too. I mean, I liked it. Now I've never had crappie. Bro. Okay, you haven't had crappie. I've never had All crappie. Right. Well, this is good. We're going to be trying this together, and you know the the technique that we were using, the live scoping on those big fish. That's mostly getting those female those females that are staging. So, ooh, there's a slimy one right there. My gosh. Oh, it just landed on my mouth. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Embrace it, honey. <laughs> Embrace the fish. You're in this industry whether you like it or not. I didn't oh, choose off. it. It chose me. Okay. I'm going to use the standard fillet knife and just go ahead and, and do the fillet. Okay. I'm going to kind of do an angled cut. Back there. Run it down. And then just kind of follow that spine best I can. And these have been on ice, these are very cold. That always makes it easier to clean them. So once you get past that rib cage, you can stick that knife through, work it down towards the tail. You know the drill. You gotta cut around the rib cage now. Get all these little pin bones out of here. Those are those little ones that get you when you're biting into a nice golden crispy. You get a little something. So we'll cut around that rib cage there. And this is definitely not a male. This has got to be a female. It's so big. And it is. So below the rib cage here, we've got the row. So we'll try to extract that out. Maybe I can do it from this side and get it all right here. I didn't want to use the electric fillet knife because I didn't know if it would go through this. All right, we'll just pop that off. Let's see if I can get it from the other side without breaking the seal. Kind of like a... Um, a boudin. You don't want to break that seal until it's cooked just right. I think we got it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. There's some beautiful crappie caviar right there, honey. Is that not the most beautiful thing you've ever seen? Ew. Don't you want to put that in your mouth? Not really, no. That looks disgusting. It might be amazing. It might be an amazing delicacy. You just don't it's kind of in a, it's kind of an L shape like that, huh? Uh, that kind of looks like a T shape. It kind of looks like a longhorn. <laughs> I was thinking somewhere along the female anatomy. <laughs> this one was about two pounds. I think it was sub two pounds, like 185 or something. And the other one I got in here is a, a certified two pounder. So egg sac should be even bigger. This is pre-spawn, obviously. So they haven't even laid yet. So we got our filet and we got our caviar, a redneck caviar, baby. <laughs> let's pat, let's batter it up. Let's try it. Yeah, will you grab those for the bucket? Make it hot enough. All right, Dad's going in with the first batch right now. There we go. OSG. Yes. She just helped me clean. Thank you. You're welcome. And what do we got here? We got four fillets. We got the sacks. <laughs> sacks. <laughs> we just cleaned them. We just rinsed them off. Now, are you willing to try that? No. No. That's a big. Uh, no. That's, that's a hard a, no. That's a hard no. That's a hard pass. Okay. <laughs> Me and Dad are gonna try it. And yep. you said you kept some other uh, row. Yeah, and they're inside. They okay. Were, so yeah. you're all about it. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. They're good. <laughs> I mean, they're tasty. Okay. It's caviar. This is a standard unit, golden crispy, right here. Got to have a cold beverage, don't forget about that. And then that's going to make that go down real smooth, hopefully. <laughs> Are you going to we'll actually see. taste it? Do you want it to taste? Oh, yeah, I'm yeah you, it's going to be creamy, I bet. You, you know, now that I've analyzed it. Creamy. Yeah, creamy. Like a goat cheese. <laughs> like a goat cheese. I bet it is. I bet it is like a goat cheese. It's not going to be creamy. 
<laughs> okay, so it's not I would crunchy, imagine though. it feel like um, like little beads. Like little beads, little small. Ones. Oh, I don't want to feel that. <laughs> oh, yeah. I don't want, want to be it sandy. It's, okay, well, the, it's, since you know, you're gonna try it. Then. No, I'm not. Get her to try it. Okay, the row are going into the batter. My dad saved some of the ones from the smaller earlier. Row. How many females were out of the bunch that we caught? So you, I'm, you I'm gonna, most I'm gonna say 80%. Okay, now if I remember right, these are gonna pop when you put them in, like, like kind of dangerously. Really? So that's not too dangerous. Well, just hang on because we're not done yet. That is a little different than the fish I was there. Probably a hundred thousand or more eggs in one little sack. You presented a hundred thousand of crappie from being born. Don't tell me that. <laughs> that could have been your three pounder that you're cooking up. Fish have a very interesting spawning strategy. They go for big numbers. Most die. All right, bass too. You know, bass are the same way. A lot of the legs, but only. Only the select few make it out and live. Is that it? They're done? That's it. That was a flash fry, Dad. I know. They're done. That's One it. take. Are you sure? I'm positive. Look at them. You sure they're not going to be like... I'm Hang positive. on a second, man. I'm positive. <laughs> I mean, that's basically raw. You dipped them. No. I'm telling you. You've done this before. That's right. I'll give you a hundred bucks if you drink. No, it's right not now. worth it. <laughs> what can I buy this day? These days with a hundred bucks. I'll give you brand uh, two brand new garden beds if you buy it, buy that. Now I can buy my own or, garden if beds. You drink that. <laughs> no. All right, fine. What would it What would it take? Um, new car. A diamond. A diamond. Mm -hmm. Well, that ain't that ain't happening. <laughs> We've seen this economy. That ain't happening. Last row is coming out. Okay. okay, let's take a good solid gander at. I can already tell you right now, right there. I guess all the lighter ones are the red. Interesting. Right? Yeah. Okay. Here we go. Taste test coming in. All right, Dad. It's all time. Right. It's time. You ready? Let's do it. All right. There's you one. Here is the same one that I filleted out. That longhorn shape. Break it apart. Cheers, I guess. Mm. <laughs> You're going in. Well, that's weird. What tastes, is that texture tastes like? It tastes like a, kind of like a soft hush puppy. Yeah, it does. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's soft. Is it mushy? I didn't overcook it. No, no, you didn't. I mean, you cooked it so fast, but it, de yeah, it doesn't taste overcooked. No, it's, it's they're easy to overcook. So they're not a fishy taste. No, it's good. It's just the strangest texture. Okay, is it mushy or is it beady? It is like a hush puppy. Like he was like it's kind of sandy, but a soft sand. Yeah, I like it. I think it's good. Mmm. Here, I'll get another one. No, no, you have that one. I love. Uh, I would say a dab of ketchup and hot sauce. Yeah. This is great. I mean, this is a great addition to the fish, quite honestly. Mm, like cocktail sauce or? You ought to try it, honey. Cocktail I would, sauce uh, would be great on it. You're, you're just going to have to do it. Yeah, I think you'll like it, Debbie. Especially if you put a little hot sauce or a little cocktail sauce on it. Just try a bite. I, I you're not, not going to be offended by it. But I see it. You're not going to be offended by it. I'll take, can I take this tiny little bite? Just take a bite. Come on, don't be a wimp. That's like just the crust. <laughs> it's okay. That's all I need. It's not fishy. Um. <laughs> you can do it. That, that is 100% <laughs> mental because you're thinking of like what it was before. I know. Just embrace it for what it is now. Just think it's a survival <laughs> meal. You're in the woods. I thought it was you good. Eaten for three days. It doesn't even really have a taste. To be I honest. know. It's not gamey. It's, it's mental. 
Take it. Take an actual bite. No, Look I I got I, I got the the beads. I got the sand beads. Lovely. I mean, that's going to eat good. Mm. That's very interesting. On, yeah, yeah. Take a bite of it. Roll it I around. I just did. I already did. I, it was a tiny <laughs> little bite. I still got the beads. It's good. I'm good. I'm good. Mm. Shout out to you guys for dropping me a comment on the Instagram with the story or the reel, whatever I, I made that told me to do this because um, this is good. This is not a throwaway. This is something to add to the plate. And pre-spawn right now with those big female crappies. You know, the little ones, I'm not sure how, how well they would cook up. But the, the big ones, oh, yeah. All day. Dab of ketchup. Little Cholula. Some Texas Pete. That is on fire, y'all. So, don't throw away your crappie roe. Because this is some redneck caviar right here. And you guys need to try it. Smash that like button for trying something new today. And I will be back to the lake to try to get those crappie on the bank. I promise you. I've been trying and trying and trying and trying. Finally found some crappie, but and now I want to catch them on the bank, and it's a matter of days. So stay tuned. Stay tuned. Woo, got a little egg down my throat. Stay tuned for the next episode, y'all. I'll see you on the next adventure later. What do you I want to have, say? I have a little rally pulley here, and it is really cute and tiny. Anything else you want to explain? And... I can't see a rainbow in the sky. You can't see a rainbow in the sky? Uh-uh. Were you expecting one? Uh-huh. Is that it? Yeah. All right. Say bye. Bye.